Hi, I'm Paul Yoder, the marketer and writer for the Memberify team. And today I'm going to show you how to work with content access permissions. So let's say you have a page and you want only certain members to view this page, like members with a silver plan or maybe it's a gold plan, and only they can view this content. Well, we're going to show you how to do that and take you through the process step by step. So let's get started. So first on your site, up on your admin dashboard, click on Modules, then scroll down to Membersify. Click the checkbox next to Membersify Access Control, so that's enabled, and then scroll down and click Save Configuration. Okay, now that feature is enabled, scroll all the way back up. Again, up on your admin dashboard, click on Structure, click on Content Types, then we're going to add a new content type. Okay, here we're going to name it and give it a description. I'm just going to name it premium content for this tutorial and enter in a description there. Then down on the sidebar, we're going to click on Membersify settings. Here we want to click on restrict access. Make sure that checkbox is marked. This simply means that uh, this content type is going to be restricted to all but the following people. So down below that in allowed roles, let's add silver and gold. So both silver and gold members can go ahead and view this content. Now you may have set up plans under different names. Uh, this is just what we set up earlier in a previous tutorial. We just used silver and gold plan. But whatever plans that you do have, if you click on these checkboxes, then the following content is going to be only viewable to them. All right, and below that we have the marketing message. This is highly customizable. You can put whatever you want in here. We have a library of tokens. This is very helpful. This can fill in random information that you'd want to show users that don't have access to the page. Obviously, you'd probably want a uh, call to action or some link sending them to get a plan that uh, allows them access to this page. So just looking through the little token library, you can see, you know, clicking on current user. You could put the user's name in there, make it a little bit more personal. So that if this content was restricted to all but gold members, then uh, the silver members who have accounts with you, um, it would enter in their name. Say, hello, Mike, you don't have access to this page yet, but you can if you upgrade to gold. So you can do plenty of stuff like that in this field, this text field. What we have in here currently is a little teaser token. So this is going to show the summary of the content. So if it's content that uh, someone can't view, it would go onto the page and all they would see is a short little summary of the content. Then below that we have a message to view the full content, please upgrade your membership level and we would have a link to the purchase page so that they can just click that link and upgrade their account and get going with the premium content. So that's a little something you can do with this marketing message, but by all means, we made it to be customizable. You don't have to do exactly what we just did here, play around with it and uh, construct the most effective marketing tactic uh, for your company. All right, now that we're done with that, let's click on save content type and let's go ahead and make some premium content so that we can test it out. Up in the admin dashboard, click on add content, then click on premium content. We'll give it a title. We'll also put some text in for the body. This is just going to be filler text. Then you can also choose to edit the summary, and this is pretty important. As I just mentioned a little bit earlier, there is a teaser token, which um, is pretty nice. It will go ahead and show whatever is in this summary. It will show it to those users who don't have access to the premium content. So you're hopefully piquing their interest with this summary you know it's showing them that hey this is what the content is about if you want to see more of it you know the full story whatever it is go ahead and upgrade so we'll put something in the summary as well all right now let's scroll all the way down in the sidebar click on membersify access control and you see here we have similar fields as to what we had when we were creating the premium content so here we can kind of customize this specific content page 
and currently it lines up exactly with all the default settings we established for the premium content but you can go ahead and change that per each content field that you uh, create we're going to leave it as it is though and we're going to click save all right we're going to go test this as an anonymous user and then as a silver or gold member but before we get to that let me just go show you one quick thing that might be helpful for you guys up on the admin dashboard click on configuration then go down to membersify click on membersify settings then you can see here purchase links click on that uh, these are the links to purchase whatever memberships you have so that's useful you know you can throw them around anywhere on the web or on your site for instance we had just set up that little marketing message this is where we would get the links if we wanted to get them easy quick uh, get it from here put it in that marketing message so they can click on that hyperlink go right to the purchase page and upgrade so anyways wanted to let you know about that now let's go view our new premium content as an anonymous user and a gold or silver user all right so here I am not logged in and it worked here's the summary and the little to view the full content please upgrade your membership level and we could click that link goes right to the sign up slash purchase page so there we go that worked for anonymous users now let's log in as a silver or gold and once again it worked um, it's not showing the summary because we don't have that token in there because we're reading the actual content not just the summary so there's the body of the content that we filled in and now you're good to go to restrict access to any of the content that you have on your site.